Yeah, so this is this is reminding us um, that the SOM system is actually interested in everything, uh, macrocosmic, microcosmic, every aspect of the patient. Um, so now let's look at uh, excess and deficiency and uh, relative to what? Relative to each other, to, relative to the counterbalance pairs. Um, so remember when we looked at the liver, dark, cool, forest, uh, associated with inner contemplation, and the San Zhao, brightness, piercing concentration on external objects. You can see these are exact opposites. The dense, cool, dark red with forest energy, all that shielding. And then the San Zhao, unobstructed brightness, this uh, it, uh, for the liver, uh, the shielding, and for the San Zhao, uh, completely open, no shielding. So these are opposites. So the organ systems themselves are the excess and deficiency. So excess of liver uh, energy for the system necessarily means deficiency in the San Zhao system. Conversely, any excess in the San Zhao would automatically necessitate a relative deficiency of liver energy. Uh, another counterbalance pair, gallbladder. Remember the expanse of heat and outward aggression versus the pericardium and with calm intelligence. This is our Tyson librarian diametric. Uh, so these guys are complete opposites. Again, any argument, Tyson would not discuss anything with you, just punch you in the face about it. The librarian would avoid the argument. And then if they had the argument with you, they would calmly, with in a real rooted way, uh, uh, explain all their points, why you were wrong. Other counterbalance pair, uh, double fire with ice cold water, urinary bladder. And so remember, um, we were talking about before, so this, where this really fear comes from, um, for urinary bladder, every, uh, every person, uh, experiences this. And then every novelist does the same thing. Whenever they talk about a fear situation, they always talk about the uh, hairs on the back of the neck standing up or the, um, the, they feel a chill going down their spine. We know it, the chill isn't going down their spine. The chill is actually going down their paraspinal muscles, right? Because this is urinary bladder. When this urinary bladder is really in excess, then we have extreme fear and the urinary bladder, ch urinary bladder channel trajectory freezes up. So we have this hair standing up on the back of our neck and this ice cold uh, feeling going down our paraspinal muscles. So these are uh, uh, paired, love and fear, count totally counterbalanced. We can see here uh, this double fire, so much fire it's able to melt the earth and this ice cold water. They, they counterbalance each other in the body. Small intestine. Remember small intestine, uh, fire and water, and kidney also fire and water. Small intestine is yang, so it's, uh, it's moving, dynamic movement. And kidney is yin, so it's taking that liquid fire and consolidating it for our life force. Again, this is, this is uh, perfect for the small intestine image and the kidney image should be more of a sphere. That gas on fire should be more of a sphere. Spleen, inner and outer dampness versus large intestine, inner and outer dryness. So again, we'll see patients like this. Damp, you know, with excess spleen, damp, heavy, bored. And then their large intestine energy would be really weak, relatively weak, because the spleen uh, organ system is so in such excess. Conversely, right, we could see that really thin, dry skinned, uh, always doing more and more projects patient, and their large intestine energy would be really high, and the spleen energy would be really low in that case. Going on with our counterbalance pairs, stomach, remember inner dryness, outer dampness, and lung, inner dampness, outer dryness. So again, perfect counterbalancing. Uh, here we are with the, on the left where, where the temple is, inner dryness and outer dampness, and on the right, inner damp, outer dry. These perfectly counterbalance each other in the body. So when one becomes excess, then the other one necessarily has to become deficient. Thank you.